Okay, can everybody hear me? Hopefully. I'm just going to start talking, and if you can't hear me, I'm sure someone will say something. So, bear with me tonight. I am really discombobulated. Um, just a lot was going on today, and I meant to go live around noon, and it just didn't happen, and um, I'm sincerely discombobulated. So, next to me are two large lawn sized trash bag things full of what we sourced. They went and got washed and dried and Keith put them in these bags and what I normally do is sort through them into piles, neat little piles to show you guys on the haul. Some stuff I don't show, some stuff I set aside and then I organize it. Didn't happen. So I have two really big bags of stuff that has no rhyme or reason to it and we're just gonna start pulling stuff out and looking at it and I'll be as surprised as you guys are except that I sourced it but I'll be surprised too so everybody welcome in I see Trey I see Mandy Trina Laura Megan Anne, Justin a lot of regulars thank you guys for showing up Tim is here hi Tim um, this was kind of last minute like I said I really was trying for noon today and it just didn't happen it's been one of those days. Um, I'm just going to jump in. <laughs> but thank you guys for showing up. So this bag, I actually know what is in here because this wasn't from Goodwill. So there's like this little back road shortcut we take from our house to one of the Goodwills. And a couple weeks ago, we noticed like a locally owned little tiny thrift store open up. And we said we were going to go in there and check it out one day. And so this past Sunday, we did. We were hoping to discover another another like honey pot to replace the one we lost, but their prices were kind of high. I mean, they were decent on some things, but not on others because they just had like blanket prices, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So all the jeans were $5. So if you found silver or miss me, hey, that's great. But American Eagle and Gap, you're not gonna spend $5 on. Um, but all their ties were $2. Regardless, so I'm gonna show you the tie that I found. I found it, not Keith. I'm so proud of myself. Hi, Holly. So I'm over in the ties at this new thrift store, and my hand ran over something that it felt like silk and it felt like a nice tie. So I pulled it out. Da na na, be jealous, Jamie Pace. <laughs> Keith says he was busy in the electronics. Yes, he was. I ran straight for the ties. Because um, once I saw that the jeans were $5 and kind of ran through and made sure I didn't see any brands that are worth it, I went over to the ties. And this is a really pretty purple. Like, if I was a dude, I would wear this. Although, I don't know if purple would be my favorite color if I was a dude. But, it is a pretty... It's 100% silk. And it has the gold bar. And those of you that do sell Donald Trump ties, the gold bar makes it more valuable. And then this was $3. I wasn't sure how much the skirts were. They didn't have a sign up. And so I went and asked hesitantly, how much are the skirts? And he said $3 for all skirts. And I'm like, well, for new tags, I'll take that for three bucks. Check it out, guys. New with tags. Pendleton. And it is 100% wool. And it's a purple and pink, nice plaid, 100% wool skirt that has the lining on the inside. So we only picked up the tie and the skirt at the new place, but we decided that we'll go in there every once in a while and kind of poke around. Um, because you never know what you're going to find in those little places like that. Um, they take donations and stuff, but they also had a flyer out that they go out to estate sales and um, people's homes and they clean them out for them. So as far as hard, good, hard goods go and little treasures like that, you never know what you're going to find in a place like that. So we'll definitely go back and check it out. Yeah, I wouldn't steal Jamie's pictures. Um... I don't even think I'd do it if I was like a person who didn't have morals because I'm OCD. I like my own stuff. 
<laughs> Justin says, I just sold the used one for 50 Um, Kid steals more. Did you push the little bell? When you subscribe, you have to push the bell next to it to get the notification. So we're going to look at my plushies that I got. I don't, I uh, honestly don't know who this guy is or what movie he's from. It's most likely a Disney movie that came out more recently after my kids were grown or a girly princess one. Um, but he is Disney brand and he was only two dollars. So I was excited and he's cute. He's like purple. And then this guy I picked up for 99 cents. Trying to show you. Um, he is one of the monkeys, sock monkeys. I do pretty well with sock monkeys, period. People seem to really like sock monkeys, and I know that a lot of people collect sock monkeys. So I do pick them up when I find them, especially if they have, like, you know, they're a brand that makes only sock monkeys. And if they're different, like this guy, he's blue, and he's got these little striped socks and mittens. He's cute. He's got a weird little face. Um, but yeah, sock monkeys are good because a lot of people collect them. And for 99 cents, I couldn't go wrong. And this guy was 99 cents. He's just a little poo. He's just a wee little poo. He's probably a poo also for like 12 bucks, maybe 14, depending on what everyone else has, how many there are up and how what other people are charging for him. But he's just cute. And um, this one is for me. He's gonna join our family. He was 50 cents. He was out of the 50 cents bin at my, the one, the Goodwill that's closest to us that has the little bin full. He's a Webkins. He does not have his code. So he's not worth as much. And because he's a hippo, he's going to stay here and live with us. Thank you, Anne. Sophia the first on the Disney Channel. Thank you. Um, everyone knows who this is. <laughs> This is Mike from Monsters, Inc. Mike Lazowski. I knew I knew his last name. And he was in the 50 Cent Ben, too. So that was like, I had to have him. And then this is the most exciting plush of the, of the weekend that I found. And this is probably the best, most exciting plush I have found since we came on with that gremlin. This is the same brand as the gremlin was. And I did mention him on my live show. So if you see the United Feature Syndicate or Applause, those are two brands that did a lot of vintage plush in the 80s and 90s. Their tags, the writing always wraps around. It's like they had the writing on the tag laid out flat and then folded it in half. Both brands do that and they have the wrap around. And then they will have the name of what it is in the year. So this is Odie. 1983 and the gremlin was applause but it's the same print and the same tags and it says gremlin in the 1982 on the gremlin i believe um i think united feature syndicate and applause are maybe the same company because their tags look exactly the same except one says applause one says united feature syndicate but if you if I ever find any of those with recognizable pop culture characters from the 80s or 90s look at them while i'm talking <laughs> They are worth money. My gremlin, he is going to be long tail and he's going to take a long time to sell because I'm waiting for that one person who loves gremlins and knows what he's worth. But he is up for like 70 or 75. Um, this guy I haven't comped yet, but I'm willing to bet he's going to be at least 50, if not more. Go down here, Ode. The babies. I'm tired too, Jamie. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, I know why I bought these. Dun, da, dun, da, dun. That was Superman noise. These are free people. I paid full price for these, so they were like four bucks. Um, but they're free people, and they're corduroys. You guys know that I love my corduroys almost as much as I love my jeans, and they have a neat print. They're like a lighter brown with a darker brown floral with vines on it. 
So I was willing to pay $4 for those. They're really light too. I reckon they're gonna be first class and not have to go on a pad of flat, which is cool. Yeah, Jamie usually sneaks in. He usually watches while he does other stuff. He's a busy man. Tim is branching out to Amazon and then to Posh. Good luck. If you need help with Posh, let me know. Um, and Jamie's your Amazon go-to guy. So these are Gloria Vanderbilt. And um, I bought them for three reasons. They were 99 cents. That Look, see the little barbs? I think I told you guys last week. We don't cut them off before putting them through the wash and the dryer. Because they don't melt. They're fine. They just come out like really curly. And um, we don't cut them off before they go through the wash or the dryer so that when I do the haul video, I can see the color and know what I paid. And then we cut them off as we do the photos. They just get really curly, but they, they're fine. Um, so these were 99 cents. Yellow was the 99 cents color. Now I bought them because they were 99 cents. I do get Gloria Vanderbilt if it's size 14 or higher, um, especially or only for 99 cents. Let me rephrase that. So I will get Gloria Vanderbilt brand jeans only if they're 99 cents and only if they're size 14 and larger, and especially if they're a unique print. So these are like Bermuda shorts. I wouldn't even call these capris. They're more like Bermuda shorts. And they have this nice like black floral print on the white jeans. And um, I do really well with the unique jeans like that with the prints and stuff. Hi, Turtle Trader. What's up? I'm butting in on your conversation, Tim. You can't hog my Megan. <laughs> Megan was on vacation, but she probably still outsold most of us. This one's blue, so I'm thinking Keith paid full price, which would have been like four bucks. If Keith is still watching, he can correct me, but it is blue, and I know that yellow is the color this week. But this is the baseball um, shirt. I know the sport, guys. I just don't know who this is on here. I just, <laughs> I have to show you guys this. So on the back, on the print, there's like dirt. And I thought I was picking off a piece of fuzz, but it's part of the, the print. There's part of the dirt that's printed on the shirt. That's funny. I'm sitting here picking at it. Anyway, they're the, I don't even know what team that is. We'll have to look at it. I just know that it's baseball. Oh, $1.99 for tees. Keith is absolutely correct. This just feels really soft and silky. It feels like an Under Armour shirt, so I, didn't, I wasn't sure if it was a t-shirt. But yeah, our t-shirts start at $1.99 if they're full price. So this was $2. It's really nice and silky feeling too. This one is yellow, so it was $0.99. Cents. It's a Tommy Bahama. And it's just a nice plain green sweater. It has this um, bunching stuff at the bottom. It's a nice sweater. It's v-neck. For 99 cents, yeah, that's a good buy. It'll go on posh on eBay. Braves Brewers, can't see it. We'll look up Braves and the Brewers first when we go to look it up. Thank you for that. And welcome in, by the way. Thank you for coming. Um, these are Old Navy. And I do pick up Old Navy if they're 99 cents, if they're size 14 or larger, especially the ones like this. They have the Diva, they have the Rockstar. Um, they have several different ones that have names like that, and I always pick them up. These are size 14. Um, I'll start them around 20, 22 on eBay. And when I cross post them to Posh, I will list them around the same price, um, but they pay shipping over there. So, like, what goes for 20 free shipping on eBay may go for, like, 18 on Posh. But I'm not paying shipping. That's why I like Poshmark. And sometimes I'll actually up the prices by, like, 10% when I move them over. Um, so things do really go for a lot more on Posh. Because you're thinking, if you're selling a pair of jeans, say, for 25 on eBay with free shipping, I'll put it over on Posh for 28 And... Usually I'll have to do an offer to like her and get, you know, go down to 25 or 22, but you're not paying for the padded flat. And then sometimes people will swoop in and buy it at 28. So 
Um, I always start high over there to give myself room to make deals. Hi, Thrifty Falconer's wife, Jamie. Ne I needed coffee too. I actually started to make myself a coffee before I went on, and then I saw that our Keurig needed water, and just I was just like, I'm not dealing with all of that. So I have a glass of water. Adam says he oh, finally sold his only pair of Old Navy. Um, do you remember what size they were, Adam? I would just be curious to know what size they were. Because I sell Old Navy, Gap, and American Eagle every day. At least one pair of the three, or one of each, or a couple. Um, I flip them all the time for like 20 plus. But I buy the bigger sizes. And it may be your keywords too, I'd be curious. Um, but some people can move stuff that other people can't. There's stuff I can't give away that Megan can sell, you know? These are cut from the cloth. I got them for 99 cents. Um, cut from the cloth is a brand I will pay up to $3 for it for any size. It's especially exciting when I get them for 99 cents. Um, these are the Farrah baby boot cuts. These I usually start around 30 even on eBay. Yeah, size 10 is kind of an average size. Um, speaking of, these are size 10. But I picked them up because they're 99 cents and they're Michael Kors. And they're black. And they're bell bottom. So these had a lot going for them for me to choose to buy them, even though they weren't a plus size. Um, size 14 and up on Poshmark is considered plush. I know on eBay... It's not till it hits size 18 that it's considered plus size. But I just in my head go by what Posh considers plus size. So size 14 and up. That's what I'm referring to. Um, but some brands I'll buy any size. And um, sometimes I look for the super skinny sizes on the opposite set, opposite end of the arch. Because just like plus size women have a hard time finding clothing. I think that women who wear size zero or double zero or one or three even have just as hard of a time of finding clothes for the opposite reason because when you go to the stores the brick and mortars most of them are going to have your average sizes like six to ten or twelve so uh, if i see really cute jeans and good brands for like 99 cents or a couple bucks that are size zero or double zero i do pick those up too because i feel like those are sought after sizes on the internet i feel like they have just as hard of a time as finding the clothing so they'll be on the internet looking for them so these are michael kors and they're size 10. like i said they were only 99 cents they were black i always like to get black jeans i feel like black and um the dark wash denims do really well and then these are like really bare bell bottom flare which seems to be back in style These are Apartment 9, again, just a mall brand, but they were 99 cents, and they are size 16 Debbie, 16 women's. So they are a plus size, and um, they're cute, too. And I think I said this in last week's haul video. If you find plus sizes that are super cute with designs like that, um, always get them, because again, not only do plus size women find it hard to find clothing, they don't find a lot of cute clothing. Um, it's like, it, they're just plain usually. So if you see cute plus size clothing, pick it up because they will sell. They're definitely looking for some cute clothing um, with the designs and the bling and all that. Um, these are Not Your Daughter's Jeans. This is a brand I will pick up um, any size I try to stick to like 99 cents but if I ever find them half off at like half off sales I'll pay like 253 bucks for them not your daughters and I'll buy any size in these especially the ones that have the lift tuck technology those seem to do really really well these are a 16 W and they're black and they were 99 cents so these I had to have Jamie you're funny um, I think I've mentioned it before. We live like two blocks from our police station and our fire station are right next door to each other in our town. And we live like two blocks. I dropped something. 
up the road. And um, you can always hear the police sirens and the fire, the fire engine siren, which sounds like a World War II raid. I'm trying to figure out this. Oh, I picked this up. I think this is something Keith passed up. It's 99 cents. And I grabbed it. Um, he passed it up because of what it is. And I grabbed it because of what it is. It's a classic Old Navy men's t-shirt. And I feel like a lot of the classic Old Navy stuff does really well. Um, just because, like I, I know I've said this before, but certain brands get a following. And if the store doesn't sell that style anymore, people come online to look for it. This is a Nick Loss. It's 99 cents. I believe it was picked up for its print more than its brand. It's kind of neat. It's a polo with paisleys on it and whatnots. Adam, I find um, the Not Your Daughter's jeans everywhere all the time. I pass up on them because they're not marked down. I won't pay $7 for them. I don't feel like I get enough money to pay full price. Um, but whenever they're like half off for 99 cents, I absolutely snag them. I wear them too. I really like Not Your Daughter's Jeans. My town is so small it shouldn't have a police station or a fire hall, but there you are. It has one right on Main Street. It's like living in the 1800s. Alright guys, I'm trying to, alright, I paid $7 for these. And I'm okay with it. These are men's jeans. They are coogie. They are urban baggy style. And they just got a lot going on. And I do find that my coogie on eBay will sit and sit and sit, right? It takes a while. It's really long tail. Um, but it does good on Poshmark. It's crazy. Keith had um, some coogie shirts too that sold on Poshmark faster than eBay. This is Izod, extra large, 99 cents. Um, it's just a cute polo. I guess I don't want to use the word cute, it's a men's, but it's a nice polo for 99 cents. Is Jason in here? I didn't see him sneak in if he is here. Hi, Jason. So these are hydraulic. Um, this is a brand I will pick up if I find it for 99 cents. They're not, you know, miss me or anything glorified, but I find that I do really well with these. I buy them in the smaller sizes like I was just talking about. And they're like the, um, they're always like skinny jeans. They have the nice flat pockets and stuff going on in the back. They usually have a darker wash with um, the whiskers here and the contrast stitching. And they're usually, if when I pick them up in the small sizes like this for 99 cents, um, they'll ship first class. And they go for like 18, 20. But they're something that moves pretty quickly for me. And for 99 cents, first class shipping. Absolutely. This is White House Black Market. 99 cents. I really like these. I love White House Black Market to begin with. But these are pink. And for some reason, y'all, <laughs> colored jeans do really well for me. Like purple, green, um, blue. Like not like blue jeans, but like a weird blue, like the sky blue. Um, I said green, purple, pink. The only ones that set for a while are yellow, honestly. There's Jason. John says he only found one coogie. Um, that's like my fourth pair of coogie jeans I've ever found. And one of them was women, so there were three men's. But we actually, <clears throat> over the summer, stumbled across, it was like four or five really, really nice kooky shirts and we bought them all that day i think they were in a haul video but um these are a 16 or sorry an 18w so these are just cj banks again not you know just a regular run of the mill bread and butter brand but they were 99 cents and they're a plus size and they're gray 
So again, with that, you know, the collared jeans, the black ones, the gray ones, stuff like this, um, usually gets bought up pretty fast. I don't know if it's because they're popular or most, maybe most sellers avoid sourcing them. <laughs> I'm one of few that has them up. I don't know. Not for long now that I've told you guys, huh? Okay, so this is um, J. Crew, which is a brand. I know if you're only an eBay seller, you're probably looking at me like, oh my god, does she even know what she's doing? I do, because J. Crew goes well on Posh. I put it on both just in case. These were 99 cents. They're 31 inch waist. And they are dark wash and they're just cute. These are a nice, cute pair of jeans. And I know I've told you guys before that J. Crew is like a. It's just a brand that does well on Posh. I think it's because of the different audience. Megan says she always passes up on hydraulic. I usually only get the really smaller sizes, though, and only if they're really unique like that pair, Megan, where they have, like, the whiskers and the contrast stitching. If they look really plain or run-of-the-mill, I'll pass on them. I've never seen them in plus size. I've seen them in the medium average sizes, but I usually just go for the small ones. Um... And they usually ship first class, so they're worth it if you can get them for 99 cents. Especially if you cross post them to Posh. Vintage J. Crew shoes, that's cool. So these are Joe's jeans. These were 99 cents, and they're black. And they're flared. Joe's jeans is a good brand, y'all. If they are calf hair, I'll have to. I've never seen J. Crew shoes out, and yes, I actually do look at the shoes, you guys. Um, I may not touch them, and I may not like them, but I look because I don't want to like walk past money. So I do look at them just to make sure I'm not walking past money. And I do have some shoes I need to list, but these are Chico's So Lifting. So I know I've said this a million times, and Megan loves these too. The Chico is so lifting and so slimming, and then they have a fabulously slimming line. Any size, they go, they go. Not the Chico's Platinum or the regular Chico's jeans. They gotta be the so lifting or the so slimming or the fabulously slimming. And I start them around $25, $28, and I, like I said, I'll source them in any size, and they go fast. Most of them that I list will go within a week. And they do have their own sizes, so you have to go on the Chico's website and pull up their sizing chart to see what the size on the article equates to on the standard U.S. scale. And then um, if you need to know how to list it with the different sizes, you can search my channel. I have a couple videos on how to list Chico's items and um, put both of the sizes in so that your buyers aren't confused. These are Glory Vanderbilt, again, 99 cents, size 16, <clears throat> and they're just, um, they're dark wash, but they're just like, you know, straight leg, run of the mill, but they are the bigger size. These were 99 cents, and these are Z Cavaricci, or Cavaricci. Um, not a brand I would normally get, but they have the trouser look to them. So this is like a style that I do really well with. I would say it's a bolo just because I do so well with this style in any brand. I'm buttoning it up so you guys can see the full effect. They always look like they're jeans, but they always have like this trouser buttoned up, almost dress pant look to them. And then these are wide leg flare. So the wide leg flare trouser jeans, I do really well with. I pick them up in any brand. Mandy says I love selling Chico's. I used to do really, really well with their tops, um, but then I kind of moved away from doing so many women's tops. I'm kind of just trying to stick to jeans and plush, unless I find like amazing tops. Like I don't go to the tops and dig through them anymore, but that's just because that's my preference is jeans and plush, um, and I'm really much faster at both of those. 
that's Chiella. So it was 99 cents. Hard Rock Cafe Cleveland. I know I've shown um, shirts like this before and told you guys. If you ever find the Hard Rock Cafe, the Rainforest Cafe, things like that with the city, those are absolute bolos. There are people that collect these and they try to get them from every city. There are people who went to one and didn't get a shirt for whatever reason. So they go online when they get home and they try to find a shirt. Um, speaking of, look at this. <laughs> this was also 99 cents. Keith at the jackpot. This is Rainforest Cafe, and it is from Orlando. So yeah, those cafe shirts with the cities on them, definitely pick them up. And this is a Nike Golf. Now, we don't typically source a lot of Nike anymore. It is very saturated. It has definitely been run to the bottom. But when we find uniquer prints um, or nicer clothing, especially for 99 cents, we'll still pick it up. We just don't pick up like all Nike. It has to have something going for it that makes it different from everybody else. This is a nice gray, silverish color with those nice stripes on it. And it has like the netting on the inside. Um, Southern Tide, the Skip Jack Polo. This was probably one Keith picked up because it was 99 cents. And it's a one of those ones, hey, I don't know what this is. I ain't got time to try to fight the internet inside the store and comp it. So I'll buy it and take the chance. Trouser jeans. Uh, yeah, Megan, we do. Megan and I sell a lot of the same sizing, same sizing, same style of jeans. And we both actually have 99 cent Sundays at our Goodwills where we load up. And that's probably why we sell such similar items because we live in areas where you can get stuff for 99 cents. So our mindset of what we can flip with spread and butter, what we're willing to buy, is going to be a lot different from areas that have Goodwills that never run sales and they have to pay $7 for every single pair of jeans. Trust me, if we didn't have 99 cents Sunday and I had to pay full price for everything or even wait for a half off day, my business model would be 100% different than it is right now. But because I can get stuff for 99 cents and flip it all day long, um, I just have a different business model. But that is probably why um, Megan and I are so similar because someone sniped a troll. Cool. Because we both get the 99 cent days. Tim, you're funny. So these are J. Crew. These are the hip slungs. The other ones I showed you, if I didn't tell you, were the matchstick. Most of your J. Crew jeans are going to have, um, they don't have necessarily names like the Rockstar or the Silver Francis or whatever but they have what the jeans are written inside. And I really enjoy that because it tells the buyer what the style is that they're buying and you can use this as the keyword in your title, it's great. And people that really like the hip slung J. Crew jeans can find yours very easily if you list it with um, its style and the name as a keyword. These are a size 28, so they're smaller, um, but they're a nice dark wash. They're flared at the bottom. Those will do well on Poshmark, but I will put them on both because I never put all my eggs in one basket. Holy cow! Southern California, your jeans are $11.99. That is insane. Yeah, I would definitely have a different business model than I have. Um, and believe me, we, we understand that we are blessed and we don't look gift horse in the mouth. We take advantage of our 99 cent days. Absolutely. This is a Majestic brand. It's an extra large. It was 99 cents. Picked it up because it is the Indians. And it has um, the guy's name and his number. <laughs> don't do the sporting. But I do believe they made them change their name, right, to be politically correct. So things with the old team logo and the name are worth um, are worth sourcing if you find them. 
We got a lot, you guys. <laughs> we went we went to two Goodwills, and the first one we spent $32 and some change. And the second one was $58, I believe, and some change. So, I mean, about 90 items. These are Big Star. Again, not that great of a brand, but... They were 99 cents, and I really liked the look of them. And again, they're the smaller size. So, um, they're really tiny size, like I was saying. Um, I'm sure somebody somewhere has a hard time finding jeans that fit them when they're this small. And these are so cute. I just really like the looks of them. They have the faded white here on top of the dark wash has the contrast stitching it has whiskers it has whiskers down by the knees and it there are um those are low rise i can tell been doing jeans for too long i don't have to measure anymore i can just tell you they're low rise <laughs> and then the bottoms flare so these are super cute and that's just an example of what i will pick up in the smaller sizes What is Justin doing? I'm gonna have to look at my comments. Tiffany says she only buys the half off. Yeah, I I would definitely not buy as much as I do or like the stuff I do if I didn't have what I have. So this is Tommy Bahama. It was 99 cents. Keith got quite a bit of Tommy Bahama. I know I showed you that green sweater. But like I said, everything just came out of the dryer and put in these bags and no one sorted, so. Um, I would say just don't give people attention that are desperately after it because that's giving them what they want. Just pretend they're dead. So this is Tommy Bahama, orange and yellow striped polo shirt, real bright, real nice colors. Ninety-nine cents. This is Arizona Jean Company. Um, that's a mall brand, but it's a pearl snap, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, you guys are making me lose my train of thought. <laughs> so I've said it before and I've said it again. The Pearl Snaps, the Western Pearl Snap shirts, if they're 99 cents, we pick up any brand. The Ma Mossimo from Target, um, the Arizona Jean Company. Of course, the better brands are going to go for more money, but if they're only 99 cents and we can flip them for 12 or 15, um, and they flip fast, the Western Pearl Snaps go pretty quick. This is Jamaica Jacks. It was 99 cents. It's an extra large, which is a good size for men. Polo with blue stripes. Megan says she loves Big Star. I think they make really cute jeans. All the jeans I find from them have like the flat pockets and the bling and all the different whiskers and different shades and fading on the jeans and usually contrast stitching. Um, and they always look so good in photographs, those kinds of jeans. Um, when you have them like folded for your front photo on the white background, I always think they look so nice. Uh, somebody else has 99 cent. Leticia says she has 99 cent Sunday. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Take advantage of it. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Um, yeah, I pretty much, uh, if you're not adding value to my life, you're dead to me. I'm not giving attention to people who don't need it. Size 14, cut from the cloth. 99 cents. Light, and these are light wash, but I think they're, um, cut from the cloth. They are. I think they're, <laughs> they're cut from the cloth, so they're going to do well. This, I saw a blue tag, so Keith, oh yes, he did pay full price for this. Um, two Goodwills, Adam, we went to two Goodwills and spent a total of around, 
what did I say, 32 and 60, like around 90-ish between the two. And um, so he brought it over to me and he said, do we want to risk it? Because it was like $5. And I said, yes, it's Peter Millar, but it is 100% cure cashmere. That's my snob voice. <laughs> That's my, I'm going to wear cashmere and go to the country club. It's a green sweater. It's got like tan on the inside, long sleeve. It's nice. It's cashmere. Yeah, it, it's hit or miss. I don't even know. They, it's not like they even have a region that's 99 cents, Sharon. Because um, I'm in PA, Pittsburgh, and um, Megan's all the way in uh, Washington, right? Opposite sides of the country has 99 cents. But the other side of Pennsylvania, the Goodwills don't have 99 cents. So there's no rhyme or reason to it. But it doesn't hurt to ask. Megan, thank you for coming in. Um, I appreciate you stopping in for and staying for as long as you did. That's so cool of you. Oh, David and Bill are here. Hi, guys. I like a fangirl whenever David and Bill are around. It's David and Bill. Yeah, the good will know them all. That's the one where we found the five Googie shirts the one time. One time we found like six Donald Trump ties there. That is the best Goodwill around here. But we try to, um, it's really a far drive. So we only go there like once a month. What size is the Peter Miller, John? Um, da -na -na -na. I know how to look up tags. It is an extra large. These are pants. I'm just kidding, guys. These are Gap. They're just Gap, but they were 99 cents, and they're um, size 14. Gap's one of my size 14 and up for 99 cent rolls brands. You only have 50% off every other Saturday? That's poo. You guys have 79 cents where you're at? That's cool. Holly's over um, the other side. So are Dave and Bill. Like the eastern side and they don't have 99 cents. These are J. Crew Guys, I, I got a lot of J. Crew. I'm really excited about that because it does really well on Posh. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, on Poshmark. And I can't wait to get them on eBay so I can cross post them. But I still have a stack of jeans from last week. I'm really behind on my piles. Aren't we all? Probably not. Um, size 30. Just J. Crew, And again, they have like what they are on them. They're matchstick. We have a color that is um, from Monday to Saturday. It's half off. And then on Sunday, that same color goes 99 cents. What they used to do was start the new, the new half off on Sunday. So for almost a year and a half, we had, when we would go there on Sunday, one collar was 99 cents and another collar was half off. Then we would go back the next week and that one that had been half off would now be 99 cents and a new collar would be half off. But they got El Cheapo and changed that on us so that we only get the half, the 99 cent one collar on Sunday and then Monday through Saturday, another one's half off. Hi, Jessica. How's it going? Yeah, Lance, if you're gonna delve into clothes, um, you gotta you gotta learn the brands, and, and we're self-taught. I talked about that on our, my live show with Casey. We just for a long time would just go out and buy all the things that were 99 cents, bring them home and learn. Better Barbie, welcome in. You didn't miss the whole show; you missed a lot, but you can always go back and watch it from the beginning on the replay. Um, I paid full price for these, and I'm not ashamed to say it. I paid $7 for these. Um, I don't know what it is about this. So, the mech denim is by Buckle, and BKE is by Buckle. The BKE men's jeans can go for like 40 to 50 
the women's, you're lucky if you can get 20, 20, 24. I'd say 20. I started at 25, so, because I always have high hopes. But then the mech buckle denim, I can start at 30 or 35 all day long. So, I don't know. Oh, and these, I forgot. These are like, um, really super bell bottom style at the bottom. They even have like that stitching there. Like they had in the 70s on the bell bottoms. So I may even start those more like 32 because they're so unique. Hi, Northwest Purple Sparkles. Thank you for coming in. You did catch me li live. She went giddy. Your wife is so cute, Jason. She's funny. You guys were really fun to hang out with in Vegas. Um, yeah, the BKE men's jeans are great. And I think Casey talked about that on the live show. The silver and the BKE men's jeans, not only do they flip for really good prices, they're really good jeans. Um, that's all Casey wears. And they're, like, just good. They're well-made. Um, personally, I like the Old Navy Rockstar. I just like that style. But I've been recently... Um, really enjoying the Not Your Daughter's jeans. Um, and I have a pair of Wranglers that I really like. They have like the foot pockets in the back and they're flared out. I actually bought those to resell and then um, I had them out to measure them and I was like, these are really cute and they were only 99 cents. I think I'm gonna keep them for me. Yeah, sure thing. It's like six months until we all go back to Vegas be so fun so these are men's j crew um i love it when i find the men's j crew jeans because they go for a lot more money than the women's just like the vkes um but these are cords so i'm just as happy to find these for 99 cents men's brown corduroy j crew pants um the men's jeans i usually start at like 36 dollars and um J. Crew women's is around 22 25 That's the difference. Men's clothing, um, especially jeans, tend to go for a lot more. And you really see that difference in certain brands. It's crazy. These are size zero. So there's another time I bought a small size. They're not your daughter's. And they're cute. These were 99 cents. But look. They have like the cutest print on them. And they look like capris to me. I'm going to have to measure the inseam, but I'm pretty sure that those are capris. Oh, that's awesome. Nice flip, G. Jasso. Yeah, but you learn them, Lance. You learn to learn. You learn to learn. <laughs> If you can get stuff cheap enough or you have the time to watch YouTube, you can always learn. Um, you can buy guides if you just want to spend money one time and buy a guide. Um, there's lots of ways. And you can always lock yourself into something too. Like me and Megan, we do mostly jeans because that was just one thing we had to be experts on. You know what I mean? Um, and I have been moving away from women's tops, like I said, unless I find cute stuff. And this is a full zip fashion jacket that is linen like I don't even care what the brand was company Ellen Tracy I didn't care it was 99 cents it is the cutest little beige 100% linen full zip fashion jacket all day long this has been a legit haul and it's mostly just bread and butter like it's crazy but this is an amazing haul we spent like $90 on all of this and the amount we're going to get back is going to be like five, six times that. Probably more. I don't do the math. Learn to learn. You learn to learn. It <laughs> sounds really Southern, doesn't it? Um, This is cute. I'm trying to figure out where the tag is. Oh, it's Beverly Hills Polo Club. So this is like another me. But if it's 99 cents, it's like one of Keith's bread and butters for his polos, especially when they're unique. And this one is, it has a nice um, jockey on the front riding his horse. I'm trying to get through this because I, I really want to show you guys everything without taking everybody's whole night. Lane Bryant, size 22 short, 
Bootka. Lane Bryant is a really good brand for plus size. So is Torrid, but I don't have any of that to show you, but I'll mention it. Torrid and Lane Bryant. Um, and just like I said, if you find really cute clothing in plus size, if you find petite or short, grab it. Um, short women, whether they're plus size or small size, I can tell you, we short women have a really hard time finding our petites and our short, um, shorter inseams. So I always try to pick up the petites and the short inseams for the women's. So these are just um, a nice pair of jeans for someone that wears that size boot cut. And they're short too, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that. I have nothing wrong with people being short. Y'all know I'm like five foot even. Keith calls me a hobbit. La Martina Saddlery. This is just neat looking. I'm pretty sure Keith picked this up because it was 99 cents and cool looking. Can you see? It's got stuff on the back. I'm gonna check my cha-ching. Selling some Tommy Hilfiger sweaters. The Pendleton New Tags is fire. Um, I can't even, I mean, we lucked out. Like, we even driving by that place for a while and saying we were going to stop in. And we finally did. And the thing is, is I don't normally look at skirts. I really just don't. I like jeans. And I'm not a dress or skirt fan, like as far as listing them. But when I was coming back with the Donald Trump tie to show to Keith, I was excited. I saw the plaid sticking out. And I'm like, is that wool? And when I pulled it out, the new the tag came out at me. And I'm like, oh, this is Pendleton New Tags. And then I looked at the tag and it was wool. And I will list that skirt all day long, whether I like them or not. <laughs> this is a Lucky Brand, 99 cents. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lucky, uh, see, I'm not even that excited about them. Lucky Brand's kind of been um, driven down to the bottom. I really won't buy them unless they're 99 cents. I got too many notifications to see what's going on. Five, six, but short length. Yeah, the first, like, half of my life, before I discovered petite sizes, every pair of jeans I had, the bottoms, like, this far up and down, would be just trashed. Because they would, I would walk on them. They would basically wrap under my shoes, and I would walk on every single pair of pants I had. And just, like, the bottom two or three inches would just be trashed. They'd be stained from mud and dirt, and frayed and ripped. eBay on fire. You're funny, Lance. It's water. All right, this is Rocket Republic. 99 cents. This is uh, another example of a brand I get up there, Tiny. These are their Cassandra model and their Zero. I don't know if y'all can see that. And they're just cute. They're just cute. They're flared at the bottom. The, oh yeah, I picked this up. Because it was 99 cents. It is so cute. Um, it's H&M Divided, which is not a great brand. But, 99 cents and look. It's denim. But it's gray and it has the look of like a trench coat or a blazer. So much for getting away from jeans, huh? <laughs> or shirts, I meant getting away from shirts. Um, another J. Crew. I told you guys I hit pay dirt with J. Crew. These will all be going on to Poshmark. These are 31 waist, and on Poshmark that goes in their plus sizes. Got just a few more things here. I think uh, there's a lot of people that uh, feel me about walking on your pants, right? And um, sometimes, and I, 
I did it even in my 20s and 30s. Like, even if it looked nerdy, I would fold my pants long after the, that was cool to do. Because I just got tired of walking on them. So, that's why I like... Um, my favorite pair of my Not Your Daughter's jeans actually has cuffed the bottom on purpose. It's sewn that way. And then they have ankle jeans now and petites and stuff. These are Dress Barn, 99 cents. They're just gray cords. Um, but I do really well with corduroy pants, so I pick them up any brand if they're 99 cents. And I believe that these were a size 4. They're a smaller size. But I don't care because they're corduroys and corduroys do good. In fact, I just sold a pair of cord, dress barn cords on Poshmark for $25 last week, I think. These are more J. Crew. Somebody must have, like, had a ton of J. Crew jeans and gained or lost weight and just donated their whole closet dresser. These ones are just light wash. Um hip flung. They were 99 cents. These were 99 cents. Another pair of J. Crew. <laughs> These are medium wash hip slung. I got a lot of J. Crew for 99 cents a piece. I was very excited. Um, I love corduroy too. I just thought it was really out of style and um, it's not. I, for every maybe two to five pairs of jeans I sell, I sell one to two of quarts. They do really well in the winter and the fall. I got another pair of Lane Bryant. These are size 22 and they're also short. So, these are for somebody who does not have long legs. New with tags. Oh, it's a, just a Tasso Alba. Um, but that's just an example. It's 99 cents. So even brands that are like, meh, if it's new with tags and it's 99 cents, we'll pick it up. Um, you can ask for more money and they tend to go faster if they're new with tags. This is the last thing, y'all. Oh, listing 12 items today. Awesome. And yeah, you're going to wake up. That will definitely um, wake Cassini up. Cassini likes active stores, you guys. So these are the Old Navy Rockstar. And I'm checking they might be my size. I might keep these. I love the Old Navy Rockstars. Um, so that is everything. I think behind me there may be a bag of some stuff new with tags that we set aside to not go through the wash and the dryer. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of everything we got. So we are almost at an hour on now. So if you guys have any questions, throw them up. I'll get to them before I leave you guys to um, finish out your evening, whatever your plans are. Um, when I get off here, Keith and I will be sorting all of this into piles so that he'll have his men's shirts and all of my jeans. Um, I do need to do some posh sharing and maybe some photographs. I'm not sure yet. I do sort my jeans. I'm very particular before I start measuring and taking photos. And I do still owe you guys that how I do my jeans photo. So, um, photo, video. Told you guys, I'm a little tired and discombobulated today, but we got through it. So, you guys, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and let you go and get back to your lives, back to work. Um, I do appreciate everybody that came in. Um, even if you didn't stay the whole time or you had to come in late, you still came, so I really appreciate it. You guys, time is money, and you're giving up any time to be with me, even if you're just listening to me while you work. That's cool, too. Um, so, thank you to all my mods. You guys are amazing. And unfortunately, as of lately, the mods have been a little bit busier than normal. Um, but trolls will be trolls. So thank you guys. Thank you everyone else. You guys know I always tell you if it weren't for you, there would be no flipping hippos. Sharing while you're watching. And if you guys want to and you haven't yet, we have a new Facebook group. It's called The Hippo Hut. 
and it's a reselling based group but we're gonna gear a lot towards some of the other stuff that I do with organization scheduling bullet journals accountability customer service and really just have fun in there um, the link is down in the description it's not at the top you have to kind of scroll down to where I have our eBay store and posh closet the Facebook group is in there with the social media you can click that and join you have to answer three questions and then wait for approval um, but we're doing it pretty quickly like people aren't like in queue waiting forever to be be in the group so I would appreciate it if you guys joined the Facebook group and uh, thank you everybody that was a pretty killer haul <laughs> I feel tired like I'm like so exhausted like oh my gosh we actually took the time to look at all this stuff and put it in the cart and wring it out and wash it and dry it and now I gotta sort it that was a pretty killer haul if you guys are right um so yeah smash the like button before you guys leave if you would thank you thank you so much again if you haven't already and you would like to go ahead and subscribe to our channel and help us feed our hungry hippos you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we're at flipping hippos on all social media you guys have a wonderful night go be productive and go make some money i love all of you